a wisp of straw. Rajesh is trying to save a nest from being destroyed. Let us see whether he is successful in protecting it. Rajesh was sitting on his bed and looking out of his bedroom window. He saw a white and orange bird fly past the window. The bird was carrying a leaf in its beak. Rajesh ran to the window for getting a better view. He was unable to see the bird. The bird had flown out of sight. Just then he heard his mother calling. Rajesh, Rajesh, why haven't you covered your books yet? Coming, Ma! Rajesh answered. He closed his bedroom door behind him, ran across the hallway and entered the living room. Oh, Ma! I just saw a bird with a leaf in its mouth flying past my bedroom window. Surely the bird is building a nest. His mother did not seem to take much notice. Maybe, but you cannot sit and watch birds all day long. Now cover the books. Yes, mother, Rajesh replied. He went to the table and started covering his books. From one corner of his eye, he looked at his mother. She was busy peeling potatoes for lunch. Mother was right. She always gave him pocket money. She loved to cook all sorts of dishes for him. And she looked after him well. But she scolded a lot. His mother started to cook. He sat down and started looking out of the window. The bird was there again. He was carrying a wisp of straw this time. His mother was near, so he did not go to the window to take a better look. After lunch, Rajesh went to his room to sleep. But Rajesh could not sleep. He sat on his bed and looked out of the window. He waited and waited, but the bird did not come. He was worried. He thought, Mother will wake up and then my bird watching will end. Suddenly, he had an idea. The roof! He would go to the roof and watch for the bird from there. Rajesh reached the roof. There were clouds in the sky and a nice cool breeze was blowing. Soon enough, he saw the bird carrying a short piece of thread in its beak. Rajesh saw the bird flying over the wall, across the lawn. To his amazement, the bird entered into his elder sister's room. He continued to watch and after some time, the bird came out. But there was no thread in its beak. It was confirmed. The bird was building a nest in his sister's room. Rajesh ran down the stairs and out of the door. He was no longer worried about waking his mother. He reached the window through which the bird entered into his sister's room. He looked around and saw the bird sitting nearby. Don't! He told the bird. Please build your nest somewhere else. I am requesting you. The bird flew away. But after a while, it was back with another wisp of straw in its beak. Shoo! said Rajesh. Shoo! The bird was not interested in listening. It continued and entered his sister's room. Just then, he heard his mother calling. Rajesh, where are you? What are you doing? From that day, 
Rajesh simply could not stop thinking about the bird. Why was the bird not listening to him? Why did it build its nest in his sister's room? Nobody was allowed into his sister's room. She was studying in a hostel, but mother kept her room clean and tidy. The room was cleaned every week. There was no hope for the bird. His mother was going to throw the bird and its nest out of the room. She liked a clean house and was very, very strict about it. Throughout the week, Rajesh saw the bird coming and going. Sometimes the bird was alone. Sometimes it was with its mate. Both of them worked hard and slowly built the nest. Rajesh tried to stop them, but they would not listen. Rajesh was worried. What would happen if mother threw out the nest? Where would the birds go? What would they do? Would they lay their eggs? Finally, it was time. His mother was going to clean the room next day. Rajesh could not allow the birds to suffer. He had to do something. He decided to shift the nest. Rajesh entered his sister's room. He searched for the nest and found it at the top of the bookshelf. He reached out and carefully picked up the nest. Just then, he heard the sound of his mother coming towards the room. He ran out of the room, across the hall and out of the house, maintaining his firm hold on the nest. He searched for a suitable place near his sister's room. A place where the birds would be able to find the nest. He found a likely spot below the window through which the birds had entered his sister's room. He happily placed the nest there. After shifting the nest, Rajesh stayed inside the house. He was afraid of scaring away the birds from their new place. Staying inside was difficult because he was very excited. The next day, he saw his mother go into his sister's room. Rajesh was very happy. He had saved the birds in time. He followed his mother into the room. Reaching the room, he looked out of the window. The nest was there, but it was empty. There were no birds. He looked out and saw the birds sitting quietly on the wall across the lawn. Rajesh had a lot of questions. Why were the birds not sitting in their nest? What were they doing across the lawn? Rajesh looked around the room. There was a blue egg on the bookshelf exactly at the place where the nest had been. It was cracked. On the floor below, there were two smashed eggs. Who lays an egg outside the nest? His mother was saying, Where is the nest? Stupid birds! Rajesh could not take it anymore. He started crying. It was my fault, Ma. The birds were not stupid. I am to blame. He hid his face in his hands and kept on crying. His mother waited and watched him for some time and then hugged him. Do not cry, Rajesh. She said in the gentlest tone, Tell me everything. Slowly, Rajesh told the whole story. His mother listened to him without interrupting and then sighed. I am sorry, but you cannot interfere with Mother Nature. Do not worry. The birds will come. They always come. 
they will build nests again and they will raise babies again rajesh asked you will not throw their nests out no i will not promise yes promise rajesh hugged his mother tightly thank you ma thank you so so much <laughs>